the time, okay? Like, I'm able to let my emotions out all the time. Like, I'm that type of guy where I will let it out. Like, my girl understands that I, I can cry. She's not going to say anything. But a guy has to be able to earn it, okay? Because you might be that girl that's like, I would never leave my man if he had a moment of vulnerability and cried in front of me. But there are some women out here that the second they see that, they do see their man as less. Now, like I said, you might be an exception to that rule. If it's 50-50, you might be on the 50% side that doesn't do that. But since it's a coin toss... For the guy, he should never fucking do it, especially if it, especially yes, because especially <laughs> especially if he's average. But I would say if you're an above average guy, you can earn it. There is definitely men that make so much money or they're so successful, whatever it is, they earn the right. They earn the right to be emotional because they fucking went through so much shit or whatever it is, and maybe he handles it so well. And she's like, you know what? He literally he's Atlas. He carries the world on his shoulders. I'm not. He's he's crying to this to this nice movie right here. I'm never gonna think anything negative about him. Emotional intelligence. Yeah, we well, yeah, I think to speak that. It and like, if you're not ready to speak about your emotions, you know you're gonna be angry, and you know how you act when you're angry. Don't speak when you're angry. Speak when you're ready. Yeah. No, I just, I, but it's just hard to. I just really don't want women to pressure men into being emotional because sometimes it ends up backfiring. And this is, and this happens a lot today though. Like there's a lot of guys that are watching the show and they're like, oh, a woman who's saying I can be vulnerable. What if he goes home and he's vulnerable to his girl and she's not like you? She's that girl that's gonna see him differently, you know? And like that's what's sad about it. And like I think that that comes with the security that you provide your woman, also. Though. Yeah, that's if why. She, that's why I said you got to earn it. She doesn't feel like she can express your her feelings to you and cry in front of you. How dare you cry in front of me, man? Well, it's, it's like an earn like, it. It's, it's an earn it's it thing. Not, yeah, exactly. You got to give enough of money, both. energy, attention, and time to your woman for her to want to like do something. It's like more that. of like an emotional security thing. If I know that I can be one hundred percent vulnerable with you without judgment, regardless of you know anything else then I can also allow you to do that with me. You know what I'm saying? It, it, if it were, if it's like, I'm not safe with you, then, you know, you might Why? not be safe with that woman, <laughs> no. you know? But mm -hmm. if she feels safe with you, she wants to be your safe space. That's mm -hmm. what we're here for. Yeah. So that's what we, we do crave that. We definitely want, men to be open i mean there are some people who are not as emotional yeah, because there's nothing cooler yeah. than like the big strong like guy who holds the world on his shoulders being vulnerable for a yeah. moment and, like and, you're, and you're the only one who gets that exactly yeah. but you yeah, also special. know that as a man we know as women we know y'all need that release we yeah. know y'all need that yeah but I, I but i do want you to understand though like so but dumb. but we do emote differently like you gotta understand we emote di like i understand like all of our psychology system like literally all of it like the way when you go to college like the amount of professors that are women um just the way the programs are all set up like when you go to the doctor who d who created everything it's all based and made around women and the reason why is because there's a lot of women that want to go to therapy like like it like the whole system i think it's like 90 or 95 percent of like teachers or people in psychology today are women now and especially over the last five years so it's like everything is being built perfectly for y'all and i agree if you've gone through some shit you do need to go talk to a counselor every day or like whatever for an hour or whatever it is and that's way better for y'all but i don't think every guy that's our like sometimes our solution is a physical solution. Sometimes y'all's solution is an emotional solution, which means releasing and talking about something. But sometimes our solution, like I'm depressed because I don't have enough money or I can't pay a bill or I'm trying to create a business and I can't figure this out. It's things that your homies are like, you should be able to go to men in your circle to, to fix that. And if you don't have men in your circle, you have to find them because like a woman sometimes isn't going to be able to fix it or crying about it to a counselor. I think, I think that therapy is equally as important. For well, me. I have a question. There's mm -hmm. a lot of stuff because... that you can get out of talking to someone that doesn't have a stake in the in the game like like I, like i said i went real. to therapy so like i i know yeah. but like i'm telling you though i get and men men yeah, are so open to... but men are so open and sometimes aware like because the thing is like whenever i went my like my, my doctor couldn't understand how hyper self-aware i was and and he was like this is crazy because most people who have your your your, your uh, sickness or anything like they're not self-aware they like all these different things and he was like you know it's it's uh men don't usually come because they already know these things about themselves whereas the women they lie to themselves over and over and over again and you have to go to a therapist to tell them and they're like yo you're actually kind of crazy. Like what you just said is stupid. <laughs> like, you know, and then they're like, oh damn, she's right. You know? And whereas like, guys, Therapists we're actually, that, like dude. I said, we're very, I know, <laughs> but, 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 but we're, we're, I'm telling you reality slaps men across the face daily. We have to be accountable. That's why I'm so self-aware is because there's not a second in my life where I, I got to get away with being unaccountable. You know how many relationships ended and I instantly had to figure out, Oh, what did I do wrong? What is it? You think my any of my exes with that were crazy gave a fuck and ever tried to check themselves and think, oh, what did I do wrong? No. When women leave relationships, they very rarely like, oh, what did I do wrong? And taking accountability. No, it's usually the guys that are like, oh, I must have fucked it up, even though she cheated on me. 
I, what did I do wrong? You know, like, like we, and like, I honestly have that, like there's, I can't think of what the book is, but I believe in hyper self accountability. Like, even if it's not my fucking fault, I'm going to say it's my fault because that's how you, you learn to solve every problem in the fucking world. Yeah. Like I truly believe that you should always take accountability for things, even when they're not your fault. Even Women emote through crying men <laughs> emote through anger primarily. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Women fake cry. <laughs> go, go, go to that $10 from B and cheeks. Well, a woman only cries when she wants attention. Ten dollars for beer cheeks makes men masculine again, make women feminine again. Yeah, I want to ask really quick, yeah. ladies, because you also brought up the ego thing. You know, um, who do y'all think uh, earned? Or no, I'll just ask really quick: Did women earn their ego? Um, last time I said it's built. It's yeah. built. I'll still go with that. Yeah. What do you think? Do women earn their ego? Do y'all build it? Um. I think so, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think it's both. It's both? A little mixture? Yeah, it has to be developed over time. Mm -hmm. has it to be developed? has to be developed. So y'all are trying to tell me that there's not some girls that are 19, 20 years old shaking their ass on TikTok <laughs> right now, and they don't have the ego the size of Mars just because they're 18, 19, hot girl with their ass out. And it's developed over time. No, 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 no. I guarantee she, you she's not always she's been a self secure in herself. Uh, no, but no, she's a it's trust fund baby, bro. I'm telling you, you can be 20 years old as a girl and think you are hot shit. You can literally think that you were on. I like, I yes, like, I started this show because I have a bunch of friends that are nothing but girls. Like, I'm like, I'm friends with nothing but women. Like, before I started this show, like, these guys that are running my stuff, they're like some of my first homies that are actually guys. I like had nothing but female friends. So I know what access they have. Shit, some of the shit I got to experience from 18 to 22 was because I was hanging out with a bunch of girls that were getting all types of experience. Like, some of the shit I got to see and go do, most guys never get to experience that age because I was friends with a bunch of them. So trust me. There is definitely an ego problem with women 18 to 22 when they have all that value up front because you can do whatever the fuck you want with it if you so choose. Obviously, not every girl is exercising those options, but just having the mentality of I can go do this, I could go to Miami and get on a boat right now, those that like that ego is a thing. Like that that gives you an ego even though you're not doing it. You abundance can still have an ego. Well, yeah, think, it's abundance for scarcity. I think girls like that are um, I don't know. Some might like it, some might not. But what I'm about to say is, girls who are doing that are those girls who they don't want know what they a one percent <laughs> man, meaning they want a millionaire person. That's those girls doing that. Was Sometimes they're just living their life. Some of them they're not even looking for the one percent man. Like they're literally like, I'm 20 years old. I'm gonna go have fun in Miami. Yeah. Like, why the fuck? Like, what the fuck? I I'm not getting married next year. Like, up. like, why not go what, have what? fun? Like, a lot of these girls are just having regular experiences. It's not like they're going to fuck these guys. Like, sometimes you can get on the boat without fucking anybody. Like, what do you Absolutely. mean? Absolutely. Hey, y'all. Sergio here. I just want to mention I've created a completely free guide that shows you exactly how I went from having low confidence and being painfully awkward around women to easily meeting and dating numerous high quality desirable women in real life without the use of any dating apps or social media. So if you're struggling to get out there, if you have approach anxiety or don't know what to say or how to interact with women to make them want you and are sick of using dating apps with low value girls that hundreds of other guys have been chatting with, click the link in the description below to grab your free guide right now. And if you want private mentorship with me personally to help guide you every step of the way in this process, check out my mentorship program in the description too. I would be happy to help you reach your dating goals and overcome any obstacle you may face. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope to see you soon. Peace out.